Okay, thank you for tuning in to Stampscaping 101. This is a uh, spray sealing video. I have a lot of scenes here that have not been uh, sprayed with acrylic spray, and I thought I would uh, just go do that right now, and uh, maybe we can see uh, what the difference is between an unsealed scene and a sealed one. All right, let's see. I have to see how I can do this here, where you can uh, we can kind of tell the difference between kind of kind of like a before and after. I'll try to zoom in here and I'll try to get some of these scenes here without having too much glare. It's kind of hard with the uh, the glossy uh, cardstock with that glare in it, but let's see if we can tell the difference. I'll start off with this one right here, this night music one. All right, now this night music one has. Um, a little bit of pigment ink here and around on those little glowing snowballs so I'll need to be careful that I don't um, spray that too thick right off the bat because um, pigment ink will go back into solution if I spray it too quickly with too thick of a spray All right, now hopefully you can see that kind of change there. Um, it became much more um, saturated and deep as far as the, uh, the color saturations went. And um, I'm spraying about one foot away, typical spray paint um, uh, distance. Okay. So let's see if we can see a little bit of a difference here. I won't do this for every scene, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see. Oops. Okay. A lot of glare on here, but you can see how uh, deep the saturations are um, with the inks. It looks like a freshly stamped scene, if not even deeper in terms of the, uh, I don't know, the, the richness of tone and the saturation of that deep blue there. Okay. All right. Here's one that's become. This one's become quite anemic here, with the amount of uh, ink that was used on it, and um, it's not only the amount of ink, but it's the types of inks, the brands of inks. They act differently with uh, each uh, different type of uh, brand of paper. So sometimes, um, and especially, I used a lot of alcohol inks on it, so it can get a little bit um, built up on there where the alcohol inks are not mixing with the dye base inks very well, which they're not supposed to, of course, which is one of the nice things about using them on there. But it can look a little anemic when... Uh, when it dries, so just kind of spray sealing it will bring all of those different inks together. So there's a lot of uh, gel pen work in there. So once again, I'll be careful not to give it too thick of a saturation right off the bat. Is that I think the uh, tones and the grassy areas right up in here became uh, much richer and deeper in their saturations a very similar one to that is this one so watch these grasses right in here uh, hopefully become much more deep and saturated in tone I'll need to be careful around the, uh, the branches up here where those are stamped in a, uh, a versifying black.
Can you see that right there? See how beautiful and rich and deep that looks? A lot of glare in it, but that's what it looks like right here. And it will stay that way once this uh, dries. It doesn't take too long. It take a minute or two to dry, but that's the way that will look. I don't only have uh, glossy cardstock pieces. I'll, we'll do some tests on some uh, matte paper here. Okay, this one looks really quite anemic. Let me do a before and after here. See these blues right here? It's become quite dull throughout kind of these areas right in here. Okay, hopefully uh, the saturations will become much more distinct in this area here. By the way, you always want to spray outside, of course. Don't do this indoors, even if you have one piece. I, I just really wouldn't recommend it. I think I did as a, as a student, you know, back when, in the days, you know, the finals and whatever, and you had to have something done, but uh, not a good idea. I tell you what, let me do it on one side so we can do a little compare and contrast here. Okay. So we can see I sprayed this side but not this side. Okay. So can you see the difference right here and here? It's quite a difference right here in the saturations. You can see it right up here in the sky. Right down there. It's focusing down there. Here we go. Okay. From the difference between right and left. Let's just hit the whole thing now. Okay. Especially right down here in the uh, water area. Looks really good. When it's been uh, sprayed, <laughs> this is hard to film here. Okay, there we go. So it's kind of layered rocks down here. I do miss a little bit of my uh, pigment ink applications where it's very thin. It's kind of disappeared a little bit, but I can reapply it right over the top of this if I want to. All right, let's move along here. Okay, uh, here's one. See us all these little um, touches in here with the uh, splatter painting. Those will become much more distinct here. Okay, much more kind of rich. blue palette in this one. Okay, let's see. Let's do a test here. Okay, now this is just stamped on matte paper, okay? You can see it's not glossy. But these can still be sprayed. Some people think they can't do scenes because they don't have glossy paper, but look at this. This is a matte paper. Look how beautiful it is. Now I sprayed this side, and this is a glossy spray, so it becomes a little bit glossier. You can see it shining right in there. And this side's a little bit more matte. Not that we have to spray it. I think it looks pretty good over here, just matte. You can get a matte spray, too. You know, that suits the, the surface if you don't want to make it... But. Uh, Either way, matte spray or glossy spray, it'll deepen your saturations and your color tones very nicely. Okay, let's do the whole thing. So hopefully you can kind of see that those deep saturations right there. A lot of gel pen work on this one. All right, the following in line with that, this is a matte black paper with uh, stamped over it in uh, white pigment ink. This one's another matte uh, cardstock right here. 
with a, a lot of gel pen work and uh, pigment ink throughout. Matte black didn't change too much, okay? It just kind of sealed everything. But the matte autumn piece, re the, the colors really became quite saturated. And I think that looks really nice right here uh, in matte. I'm looking at all that gel pen work. It looks pretty good. I didn't know how much uh, the matte would change uh, when sprayed, but uh, it changed quite a bit. Okay, let's see. All right, these two are just deeply saturated uh, tone scenes. The one right here has a lot more spider just walked across the scene. Let me get out of there. All right, spider crossing. All right, let me just flick that guy out of the way. All right, so the one on the left has a lot of uh, um, pigment ink on it, so I'm going to be a little bit more delicate with my spray application with that one. I'll just hit it from distance a little bit and try to let that set. This one right here, I can, the one on the right, I, I can really hit uh, like a strong amount. This one right here got a little destroyed. It had a, like some kind of adhesive on it and it ripped it, but um, you can see a sky uh, and like Milky Way galaxy pieces become much more uh, deep and saturated and kind of cool looking that's down there in the water as well as a reflection. But this one I gave a very light spray to and I'll give it a oops a little bit of a stronger spray uh, coating I should say now that I have sealed in a lot of those more delicate areas and I won't hit it too much though. I can hit it a little bit more in the sky and in the four corners. And we will still get the benefit of a kind of a deeply saturated piece on the um, perimeter, but we can still have the delicate um, touches of the pigment ink applications, light pigment ink applications throughout the center. So you can kind of go for more of a perimeter oriented uh, spraying of that. All right, now this one's a little bit different. This one's stamped on a metal, sorry, metallic uh, paper. You can see it really changes with the reflective quality, but um, it's like a, it's kind of like a star dream paper. I, I don't think, I, this one might have been the Ast, I forget the name of it. I was going to say Astro Lux, but I, I think that's different. But a metallic paper, let's see what that will look like here. Okay, I can tell the black dye based ink became much more uh, distinct, I think. It's not as, you know, super big of a, a change, but uh, see that right there? Without the glare on it, that white splatter painting from the uh, Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof white really stands out, like right in here. Very simple. This one's from the Mood and Media series of videos. But metallic paper's are really fun to work on. I don't go too crazy with the coloring, though. All right, now let's take a look at these two right here. These two were uh, predominantly if not exclusively, dye-based inks 
I mean, uh, not dye based, alcohol inks. Okay, now, alcohol inks, I do believe, will go back into solution um, with um, spraying, so I need to be careful about that, unless I want that aspect of it to uh, come into play. Like, for example, I might spray these and the alcohol inks go back into solution and kind of spread out a little bit and merge with the uh, other colors. It might be, you know, might be a good part of the technique, I don't know. Okay, I, I think the alcohol inks um, kind of withstood the spray. Maybe the spray just dries so quickly it doesn't, I don't need to worry about it. But um, those alcohol inks look pretty good. Yeah, they didn't spread out as uh, like I thought they could. I guess they're set, you know, for the most part. It might have, uh, it might have uh, moved kind of on a microscopic level, but um, nothing kind of visually uh, noticeable with them, but look at that deep saturated, uh, uh, you know, um, alcohol ink tone. All right, let's just move along here. I think you get the, uh, the idea. Spraying is pretty, a pretty uh, effective way of really uh, kind of increasing your, um, your range of uh, values and intensity. Here's a couple sky images. There's that Milky Way one again. I don't know if you saw down at that bottom one, that uh, transformation in those blues was really quite, uh, quite extreme. Okay, now this one's um, a complete matte paper right here. I don't remember what technique I used on it. It looks kind of different up there. It might be just a different type of paper, I'm not sure. It looks uh, textured to me. I love those deep rich blue um, tones in this one right here. And how uh, kind of saturated those colors become. Became, this one, I, I don't remember what this was, but there's a kind of a textured element. Oh, this one was a, a different type of glossy cardstock. But um, I do like it though. So it's just different, it kind of the dye based inks kind of separated a little bit so it became a little bit more textured. This guy that I've been doing the uh, conventions with, uh, Rubber Stamp Depot, in their booth, he, uh, straight, he carried some uh, glossy cardstock and I tried it out and it was quite different. You didn't get the chrome coat one, um, but it's still pretty cool. Alright, a couple of the recent scenes here. Right on those tree trunks. Really, uh, stand to benefit from the, uh, the spray ceiling. Look how beautiful that is, the, the tree trunks. Uh, I used uh, alcohol inks and dye based inks, and the alcohol inks, you can kind of see this little schmear of them, but uh, when you spray it, it unifies with the, um, the dye based inks. In terms of appearance, not physically, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it does physically a little bit. If it does go back into solution, this one's a little bit more subtle, but the depths of uh, the uh, kind of, especially that shoreline where I've used those uh, alcohol inks in there, merging with the dye based inks, it just kind of seals them together and they look, become a unified um, texture. This is a really good day to do that. I, it's not 
it's getting a little breezy now, but okay, this one right here uses that uh, Wink of Stella. Um, what do you call it? Pen in the water area. You can see that kind of shimmer right there. Let's see how the, see how the Wink of Stella works with the spray sealing. Here's the wink of Stella. Yeah, it still shimmers. It, I don't know if it's me or if it, no, nah, it's still there. Yeah, I thought maybe it's not as as apparent, but it, it is. Okay. Okay, this. Things like this become really quite anemic looking. Let me see if I can bend this to get that glare out. This is why I always recommend to people to go with a 12 point uh, thickness paper. These are all 10 point and it tends to really bow and curl. I mean, you can just counter bend it, but it's, I don't know, the thicker ones are kind of nicer to use. I just bought a lot of a 10 point at one time, so I'm still going through all that. recent uh, blossom themed pieces. Uh -oh. The wind is starting to kick up. Hate it. Hate it for a uh, sprain. Seams go all over the place. Alright, this one benefited quite a bit, I think. So there's uh, little blossoms down there. And by the way, I'm using a Krylon UV crystal, uh, not crystal clear, UV resistant clear. It doesn't make things completely light safe, but um, it might protect them a little bit. I haven't done the a light fastness test or something like that. Okay, here we go. I don't even remember doing some of these uh, scenes right here. They must have been for lessons. There's kind of that spring idea on there using a lot of uh, gel pens. alcohol ink uh, additions to this. You can see that uh, saturated uh, tone. This one can really use it right here. Let me do a little before and after. See that? Especially down in those tree trunk areas. I've used a lot of uh, alcohol inks on there. You can see right let me see if I can catch it on camera. See this right here, this streak? It's just, it's an alcohol ink addition. Okay, here we go. It's an alcohol ink addition to this trunk to get that tone in there. But you can see the separation right here in terms of textures. Okay, you can see really see the difference between um, Versafine and alcohol black. Versafine, alcohol, Versafine for those hanging branches. Let's see what this looks like sprayed though. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. Now we look at those trees and look how much deeper they are. They're deeper in terms of value. The uh, kind of the, the value distance between the Versafine and the the Marvy kind of black areas aren't as extreme, but um, that separation of a uh, texture between the alcohol ink that was in that tree and the dye based inks to used it, you know, that used to color it are now unified as one so there's not this kind of streaky kind of slathering of uh, alcohol ink present in there so you get the benefit of the alcohol ink without the uh, kind of the separated I don't know non-unified look of them sunset glows uh, minimal uh, tones on that one Top one benefits more than the one that had kind of more of a, a minimal range to it, but they both benefit in terms of protection. Here's another one with that a lot of alcohol ink additions, like especially in the wood grain. Okay, you can see it; it really stands out. You can see those little streaks, like right here, right in here, where it's a little bit more vivid. That's the alcohol ink. And then the dye base inks are kind of the, the foundation inks underneath it. But you can see that streak down there of alcohol right there, just to get another little layer of tone in there. Okay, and we have kind of more of a unified look. You can see it right there in the wood planking and in the trunks, okay? And this little firefly stand out even more so because there's more contrast between the background and the gel pen uh, highlight. Couple more. There's a difference between the top and the bottom. All right, that's that. We have a lot of uh, scenes right here. I'll give them a couple minutes to dry. Maybe about 10 minutes or so. They might still be a little bit tacky. I'm shooting it here in a overcast morning and it's quite kind of humid out right now. So uh, it'll take a little bit longer to dry, but it's a good time to dry, uh, spray these when it's not so bright and sunny out because uh, dye based stinks are very, uh, uh, non-light fast so they will fade out so I don't like to have them exposed to uh, really bright sunlight for too long so anyways a uh, lot of spraying there I think I got even more but I just grabbed the uh, first couple stacks around my desk and I'll format these into cards uh, at some point in time too thanks for watching